Hello everyone, my name is Basit and this is Fluid. Water in motion, swim in the ocean, my river flows out to the sea. I'm floating, I hear you calling out to me, voice moves as smooth as waterfalls, a mesmerizing siren, my reservoir of ecstasy, begins to flood into my blood, we're in a pool of heaven, enchanted by fluidity. I flow away, you flow to me, divinity, deep in the blue. Watch the water flow. Waterfall below. Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna flow? Healing through it, feeling fluid, healing through it, feeling swimming, feeling fluid, my river flows out to the sea you flow away i flow to you you swim to me i'm floating i hear you calling out to me voice moves as smooth as waterfalls a mesmerizing siren what do we need i'm gonna follow your lead let's take it back to the start Follow the beat of my heart We are going for a swim We are they and them I am in love with you You set me free I can't do this thing called life without you here with me Cause I'm dangerously in love with you I'll never leave Just keep loving me the way I love you Loving me cause I am in love with you You set me free I can't do this thing called life without you here with me Cause I'm dangerously in love with you I'll never leave Just keep loving me, loving me Healing through it Flowing through it Enchanted by fluidity I flow away, you flow to me Divinity deep in the blue Thank you so much. 
Before we get to the next song, I wanted just to share that fluid is a ode to fluidity. Not only fluidity in gender and not only fluidity in sexuality, but fluidity in the sense that we all can afford to move like water, to ebb and to flow. And I want to thank you all for joining me on that wave. So the next song that uh, I'll be singing for you is a, another original song that I released under my feminine persona, Dion Slay, uh, February of last year. So right before everything kind of came to a pause. And this will be the first time I get to perform this song live. So I'm glad that I get to share this with you all. This is Motherland. Wind up and roll, lose control. Wind up and roll, lose control. When I wake up, time to shake up, lose what's lost and keep what's real. Forget the breakup, I'm gonna take up all the space I want to fill. I don't need your permission, my decision to love myself is made. Now I'm dancing in the sun, just one on one, don't stand there in the shade. Wind up and roll, lose control, follow the rhythm of your beating heart. Deep in your soul, fill it whole, stop wishing for your life. To start, why don't you take my hand and I'll take you to the motherland? Then you will understand why it's sweeter than the promised land. Living your life is free, so celebrate and dance with me. Why don't you take my hand and I'll take you to the motherland? The motherland. There's nothing to it, you can do it Find the music in the sun If you're going through it, chop and screw it Now it's time to have some fun Feel the anticipation and hearts racing Cause love is in the air Cause it's a celebration in the nation You can feel it everywhere Wind up and roll, lose control Follow the rhythm of your beating heart Deep in your soul, fill it whole Stop wishing for your life to start yeah. And I'll take you to the motherland Then you will understand mm, Why it's sweeter than the promised land Living your life is free So celebrate and dance with me Why don't you take my hand And I'll take you to the motherland Where you wanna go the motherland, where you wanna go? Let me hear you say it. The hey, where you wanna go? The motherland, why don't you take my hand and I'll take you the to motherland. the motherland? <laughs> Thank you so much. The Sets. Welcome to Show and Tea. Thank I you am your me. host, Futurity Artist, but you know this. Yes. <laughs> we do. So today I have some warm, delicious, piping, searing hot. Ooh, warm and searing hot. <laughs> We like both. <laughs> Duality. Very tea for you. There you Thank go. Thank you so much. Ooh. Clink, it clink. It is giving clink, clink, searing hot. Cheers. So the first oh, yeah. kind of tea I want to check in with you about mm -hmm. is creative tea. Mm -hmm. And I want to know what is the future of Black creativity for you? The future of Black creativity for me is making sure that we have all that we need, allocating resources, allocating space, making sure that everyone has the full autonomy to give every project and every artistic endeavor the full attention it deserves. Um, I think oftentimes we feel like, you know, we are limited to our circumstances and I want Black queer people to feel empowered to do 
the biggest and most beautiful and most vibrant versions of their creative expression as they possibly can dream up. Mm. So that's part of the reason why I started this production collective, Legacy, my three closest friends, and we're making sure that we're producing the art for the girls mm. and for the and for the boys and for the both and for the neithers. Clink. Clink. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of high quality production value, what was your experience like today during your show? Oh, it was so much fun. Yeah. It was so much fun. I, well, first off, the plants. I get my whole life and energy from plants. Mm -hmm. I believe that photosynthesizing is my new way of socializing. I love to breathe out. The plants love to breathe out as well. And we just do have, we have like, we have an understanding. Symbiosis. Exactly. <laughs> we have an understanding. As long as I'm breathing, they're breathing. <laughs> and so that for me was so life-giving. And then on top of that, we love several camera angles. We also love getting to sing our music and sharing it during a time of a pandemic. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Honestly. What are some things that you've noticed in the art world that you feel need some adjusting in order to mm -hmm. achieve that quality care that all mm -hmm. artists deserve? Mm -hmm. I think it's about attention to detail. I think that we should all be very, very sure about what our art looks like mm -hmm. and making sure that our art is being perceived the way that we intend it to be perceived. Mm -hmm. So if that means like you, a hair is out of place, do it again. You know what I mean? If that, <laughs> if that means that like things aren't necessarily how you expected for them to be, then making sure that you have the full range to make sure you execute your vision so that when people see it, they're not saying, did they mean for that hair to be out of place? Mm -hmm. And that type of autonomy, again, keyword of that. <laughs> um, is what will ensure that we are getting uh, everyone's vision and their story right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. What you were talking about with care is why I love being on set. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm the bitch that's like, does the artist have everything that they need? Yes. Do they need water? Do we need to pause? Like, you're so good what's about the that. vibe? You're because so good it's about like, that. I'm so tired of being in environments where there's no vibe checks and things are going on set, mm -hmm. people are getting misgendered, mm -hmm. people are upset. It's like, how can I be productive and mm -hmm. produce quality work? When I have feelings on my heart that no one's caring about. Exactly. It's so harm reductive when you actually put that energy into that kind of care. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's really the big issue that we're facing in this time, like where we have leader, we've had leadership that is so harmful, intentionally harmful, um, that we aren't cognizant of spaces that are harm reductive. And I really think that you cultivate so many spaces mm -hmm. that are so based in making sure that people feel seen, people feel heard, people feel checked on, mm -hmm. and it allows people to breathe. One thing that I always wanna focus on is my breath. We don't focus on the inhale and the exhale and the stillness enough. And I think that if we can incorporate meditation into our daily practice, in any way that we can, mm. it will also lead to more harm reductive spaces. I want to close by shining a little bit more light on legacy because I think it's such a beautiful venture. It's absolutely necessary. Mm -hmm. And I also think that it gives way for that autonomy of Black creators to feel fully safe and comfortable in creating. Mm. Um, and I want to know what you hope legacy to achieve this year and and how you're going to work as a collective to make it happen absolutely oh that's some that's some tea can we click to that <laughs> question wow so the tea on that is i don't i i don't even want to limit what is possible for legacy right mm -hmm. now because we do a daily series uh, a spotlight series where we <gasps> I'm sorry, real quick, I have to jump in because okay, okay. literally when you checked in on me about doing my spotlight yesterday and you were like, okay, bio, headshot, da 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 didn't even have to send anything to you. You picked exactly the picture I wanted. <laughs> you picked my fucking bio for my website like a fucking professional and said such amazing things about myself that I hadn't been affirmed in. So I just want to like really, like your eyes are sparkling at me right now. I can't take it. <laughs> 
because I'm so happy. That makes me so happy to hear. And that was like, we didn't plan that moment. That was very just genuine, authentic. And that is what Legacy wants to do. It was Legacy incredible. Legacy wants to give that feeling to Black queer people and Black queer artists because we're not being told enough. Yeah. People love to secretly peep our Instagrams but not follow us. <laughs> people love to secretly check in on our art but not subscribe to our art. And we're saying we're combating that by every day using our platform to uplift Black queer artists that people need to know. Yeah. People need to follow. People need to see your website. People need to know what you're doing. People need to know the work that you're doing mm -hmm. because it's so amazing and it's so beautiful and it's so important. So that <laughs> is specifically what ties us back into the question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what Legacy is here to do. We are uplifting not just ourselves. We're uplifting every Black queer artist that we can. And we're making sure that all of us, the world is going to know our names. The world is going to know our art. And the world is going to recognize us and celebrate us specifically for the work and the contributions that we have given to culture. On period. You heard it here first, folks. And that's on period. Clink, clink. It's weird for me to see um, the ways in which Black queer folks like have have been contributing. We hear Marsha's name a lot now. Yeah. But I'm like, but wait, do y'all remember when when people weren't talking about Marsha? Do y'all remember when everyone was talking about RuPaul's Drag Race but not giving Marsha the flowers that she had been giving consistently? Consistently, and then like I'm and I want. Not only Marsha, but like then let's talk about all of the people who are unnamed that we still don't even know. Listen. And we are we both are doing such great work in this community and in this and <laughs> where are my spectacles? <laughs> <laughs> it's that. It's it's the look under. Like we we're doing the work and we're not and it's not we're not asking for praise or accolades. Absolutely not. But don't forget. Don't let it be 20 years down the line and then it's like where are the black queer people? We've been here. I don't need to be buried before I get my flowers. No, you need them now. Hello? I need the bouquet. <laughs> Soup. <laughs> Send them. <laughs> I am so sad. I'm so sad. <laughs>